guys, it's Miss Yen. Um, hope you're well. Um, this is um, sort of catch up chit chat time. So I just want to say hello and hope that um, you're staying well. Um, this week I haven't been any recording any um, lessons, only because I think I, I would just didn't feel like it. And I think we all feel sometimes like this way, overwhelmed and don't want to do anything and um, just just want to have a break. And I think that's that's good. That's good. So I hope you you are having a good break this weekend, and um, hopefully um, you will get back to it um, on Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I just want to help you with a little bit of a, you know, give you a little bit of a tips. Um, if you're overwhelmed, or stressed, uh, what to do, and or too, there's a too too much to do this holiday. Um, I think it's important you don't plan too much. <laughs> don't burn out too soon, because I think this online learning it's gonna go on little bit longer than what would expect expect it so don't feel like um, you've got to do everything um, all at once so spread it out a little bit and see um, how much you can achieve per day and then and then plan a little bit more afterwards you need to know your studies uh, style and the way you like feel conf confident and comfortable how you study and and you know if you want to listen to music I think that's okay because I've been doing it um, it helps um, but if you need to really really concentrate maybe just turn it off and do that first and then if something that is not too serious you can you know turn the music back on or something like that and make sure you have a break after one hour study or 40 minutes study or even 30 minutes study you need to have a bit of break like 10 minutes or 20 minutes um, so it, especially if you're not used to um, studying regularly it is important to start with a small like 30 minutes or 40 minutes instead of like two hours or one hour even and then have a bit of break and I use um, like a little notebook like this or, or post it um, put some dates on the top and have a like maximum three goals per day so for example um, I was doing exercise mass exercise say 7.01 uh, on Monday and then um, I will do video recording in the afternoon and then checking some emails or something so so those things were important things to for the day that I, I would like to do or something like checking up on my my own children's um, home study um, so those are the goals and I'll tick it off so for you um, maybe get up and then do for example math and then you put exercise 5 or 1 or something like that and then um, second will be like reading your English novel or two chapters and summarize or something like that and then third goal will be something else rewrite notes on a modern history or something like that so it's important you have these goals but it needs to be achievable it is it's you can't just say study math or study English or, or something like that it's gonna be quite a huge range so it is important you actually just break it down a little bit and then make that as a goals per day and eventually you you'll get um, a longer period of time and you will achieve a little bit more but it's important you actually start small and then have a regular breaks and then uh, keep going. Important thing is you finish.
complete the task and goals each day and that makes you feel good it makes me feel good when I take each goal per day so make sure you do that and have a break and it's important guys because I was overwhelmed um, with all this different uh, way of doing things so I had a couple of days yesterday and today I did pretty much nothing which was fantastic you know uh, but I took my dog for a walk I do that every day um, and I just watch YouTube and listen to music and what else do I do I pretty much yeah I had a bit of a, a nap taking nap and yes something that I like to do so I did that so make sure you do something that you like to do and enjoy um, try to enjoy a day that you know you have and hopefully I'll catch up with you next time see ya